Hello and welcome to Peggy's Tropical Garden, coming to you from the Florida Keys for another plant shopping road trip. Well, this time we left the islands and headed to Sarasota, Florida. While there, I noticed a Home Depot. So, you know, you see a Home Depot on the road, you have to stop. That means plant shopping time. So we stopped by to see what plants they were offering. And what kind of friend would I be if I didn't take you along? So let's get rolling and check out the plants. If there's a rickety shopping cart with wheels that just won't turn, that's the one I'll always find. Today was no exception. So I'm fighting this shopping cart, but I'm determined to take a look at these plants. My grandmother used to love roses and she had them all in her backyard. I've never grown them before, but I am drawn to them and I think it's the connection with my grandmother. And I think I'm gonna have to try and grow some roses. I don't know how it will go here in this climate, but I'm gonna give it a try. Some of these are very, very pretty. Look at these over here. Look at this, even the color, that lilac color. Can you believe this? And it's not a pink, it looks, it's a mauve lilac, very pretty very pretty. I'm going to have to give roses a try. I don't know why I haven't, but if you grow roses, is, are they easy? I have no clue. Do you think they would do well in my climate here in the Keys? Look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. And these are more pricey, $25. So they, there must be something special about those. And of course, you know, I have a thing for the hibiscus. We have some over here with bougainvillea. I like bougainvillea too. They look like paper flowers, but they have huge thorns. Not a fan of them on the bougainvillea, but they're so pretty to look at. So funny, I just thought about that. I have a cactus garden. I have euphorbias with spines, but I won't accept the spines on a bougainvillea. Now this is a bottle brush bush or whatever you call it, tree. I don't know, but that is so appropriately named. They look just like bottle brushes. And of course, here we go with the calla lilies. Beautiful. I'm trying to see how I do with the one I have before I get any more of these, but they are certainly beautiful. And very inexpensive, $3.98. And here's a philodendron here. For fourteen ninety eight, some ferns, big full ferns. Look at this begonia. I know some of you are saying, "Oh, I would have gotten that begonia." I'm working with my maculata. It's the only one I have, and I'm. This is thirteen dollars. It's beautiful, but I don't want to get it and risk killing it. Um, let me work on my maculata first. So. Pretty much just the regular plants. I think this is a Prince of Orange. And they have some Thai plants under here, some quarter line. And let's see. Yeah, pretty much all I'm seeing here are the plants you typically see, but not this size. This is a different size. And 498, it's larger than that smaller pot, well, than the four inch pots that you usually see them in and not as expensive as the the eight inch this must be a six inch but very nice and price was good corn plants everywhere this is an interesting home depot they have like a indoor section with all the house plants and things house plants and tropicals i've never seen them separated like this but the plants look pretty good very healthy prices are the same as at um, my Home Depot that I go to in Miami. Let's see, Dracaena, Chinese Evergreen, eleven ninety eight. That's a good price. It's funny because most of the time I see that in a larger pot, and it costs more than that. So interesting. And everything's looking really good, but just nothing different yet. I think these are so pretty. 
nice and full plants. Of course, you have to have golden pothos. What's a garden center without golden pothos? And bromeliads. <laughs> Gotta have them too. They look nice and healthy. How much are they here? $14.98. And at home, I think they're $13.98. So, it's the dollar difference in price. And this is about, I guess, about four and a half hours. Four, four and a half hours from where I live. So, okay. Let's take a look over here. Another Dracaena. Now, these are the small ones that we always see in the stores. This is that, the regular size we see. And $5.98. The bigger ones are $5.98. The smaller ones are $3.98. Now this store seems to be really well stocked, but I'm not seeing a lot of variety. Even in like these small plants, I'm not seeing a lot of the more common small plants that you see um, just in terms of variety. It's like a lot of the same ones. So I'm not giving, them up, giving up on them yet. I'm thinking there's gotta be some good stuff around here somewhere and I'm not leaving without it. If, I, if it's here, I'm gonna find it, so. There's a little bonsai over here for $36.98. So let's just keep looking and see what we see. Okay, $17 for um, these bromeliads. I think that's like a dollar or two more than they usually charge at the Home Depot I, I shop at regularly. Now here's another section with small um, plants, and these are three ninety eight, and they're these are more okay. Here's their variety of the smaller plants. I at least see some um, some Brazilian pothos and um, I'm excuse me some philodendron Brazil and crotons and things that I didn't see on the other side so some ivy all kinds of stuff I'm trying to go slow so that you can see everything here's a fern how much is that that is $12 and let's see here's some very small ones some succulents and these are Costa Farms, three dollars and thirty-three cents. So nice selection of those. Everything looks really, really healthy. Um, picking up these pots, they don't seem to be waterlogged or overwatered, anything like that. So I'm pretty impressed. Nice store. Okay. Trying to get some prices going here. Look at this big fiddly fig. Very nice. Let's see if I can see the price. And I don't. $89.99. It is the $89.99 ones. And then these ferns over here. Let's see, they're nice and full. These would look nice hanging on a patio or something like that. And ten ninety eight. That's nor that's cheaper than I usually find them. They're usually about fifteen dollars. And look what we have here. Here's the Costa Farms display. All right, let's see what they're offering on this display. They've been offering, you know, it it varies a little bit, but they have the ZZ Ravens. They're a decent size. They have the Calathea Networks and the Adansonii's. Let's see, the Little Fiddles. And that's what they're offering on this one. And notice it's full, not one plant missing. So if you're a plant lover in the Sarasota, Florida area, here's your selection of Costa Farms plants. Um, everything right here, eighteen ninety eight. So, 
there you go. Lowe's was charging $17.98, at least the one I went to. Look up here at this synapsis. They look like they're burned at the top and not in the greatest shape, but too bad I don't need these. I've never seen them offered in the hanging baskets at a Home Depot or Lowe's. Very nice. Uh, Philodendron Brazil. Okay, some ivy plants. Another syndapsis. Look at this one. Look how long this plant is. Oh, I'm so tempted to get this, but I don't need it. Fetonia. Are you kidding me? Look at this Hoya. I have never. $17. Okay, your snake plants. So, Dracaena. All these plants look very, very healthy. Like I said, nothing is waterlogged. These look very nice, these peace lilies. Let's see, for $20, really good size too. Let's see what we have going on here. Over here, look at these succulents. Look how big these echeverias are. I think these are neon breakers. But look how big they are. They're beautiful. That's impressive. They don't usually have them that large. $12.98. And look at these. These are blooming. Very cute. They don't have a lot. If you can see how they are. They don't have a huge amount of them. But they're here. And they're large. And the price is excellent. I can't remember getting uh, succulents this large at Home Depot. And for this price, forget it. I'm so sorry. I'm so distracted. I'm having a hard time talking to you. But I'm really impressed with these succulents. Oh, and I see something over here you're interested in. I hear the bagged orchids. And just kind of scan over. And from what I'm seeing... For the most part, and I've never seen that one back there, but for the most part, they look like the ones they tend to carry on a regular basis. But you never know. I mean, they have dendrobiums, they have cattleyas. You can find some really good plants, and you see this price, right? And the, like I said before, the thirteen ninety eight are the growing. I mean, the blooming size, and the ones up here aren't ready to bloom quite yet. But nice variety and a great price. That one's pretty. Okay, moving over here. There's some ZZ plants. And these are $26.98. Over here, Diffenbachia for $15. This one's, that's the first plant that I've seen that looks a little beat up. So, all right. I got excited about that Hoya. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen anything else exciting, but they do have some large palm trees. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Let's see. What kind of price is on that? Just out of curiosity. $179. And over here, they usually, well, at my store, they don't normally carry like the full size palm trees. Look at this, will you? I mean, you put that in the ground, it looks like it's been there forever. Beautiful trees. We are in Florida, and nothing says tropical garden or tropical more than a palm tree. So just beautiful. And they have a lot of them here. They have a nice selection. And not all um, Home Depots have these really large ones. They usually have like this size. And these are 229 as well very nice and healthy and that's it thank you for coming along and thanks for watching bye bye